drivers, start your engines! Green, green, green. We don't write our own eulogies normally. Maybe rich people do. <laughs> you know, uh, or I guess our actions create our legacy. But um, you know, I know I know you you've talked quite a bit about the people around you. Uh, you know, and I know that you you know you're appreciative of them, and I know Gail is too. But um, as far as yourself, how do you want to be remembered? Do you want to be remembered for your racing? Do you want to be remembered for outer racing? What, what is what is what do you want well, your legacy to be? I guess part would be both. It's part would be when I drove, and I met so many so many people over well, well, twenty some years or whatever. Before, well, actually, I ran more than that. Um, you know, all types, and most of them are the best people you want to meet, and they're all genuine. And I just want to be remembered as being a nice guy. Or maybe not all the time, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and then um, otherwise in the family life, I like to re respect them. Just that I did what I could do. And uh, that's, all I can, that's all I can do. I, I can't pull rabbits out of hats. And, <laughs> Could, or would life, you want to? <laughs> life would be a lot different. Right. Now you did mention you did mention some health issues and how how is that going right now? Are you in good health right now? Decent. Okay. My lungs are fine. That's the best part. Th me. Thank God. <laughs> Especially in the time part. we're living in now. Yeah. Yes, we want your lungs to be. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. the best part of me. I'm sure they're keeping an eye on, especially nowadays in the the, the pandemic part of the, what we're dealing with now. I'm sure they're keeping an eye on that. So. Uh, so the, which and Gail had mentioned when we spoke earlier that you'd, you know, had some recent doctor appointments. So I'm glad to hear that yeah. <clears throat> that that is is going well. And um, so, did we forget anything? Well, I, I you know I like I said before, I, I'm so appreciative of everybody that's helped me along the way. I didn't do this by myself. I it wasn't all for me, but I thought. I put my part into it, and so I'm just fortunate. I'm just fortunate I'm retired. I got retired too soon, but <laughs> well, but, uh, could have been why, retired in worse places. It's yeah. snowing up north. <laughs> well, that's why I was told Gail when she gets old, right here, when she gets retired, we're we're gone, and we were, and we. Beautiful home, you know, beautiful area yeah. here in the Fort Myers area. Beautiful, yeah. you know, uh, scenery. Full yeah. moon tonight, you know. Oh dear God, full moon. Uh oh, <laughs> just, just hit me. <laughs> oh, oh no, full moon. Yikes. <laughs> oh, oh. But uh, yeah, it's. I just want to enjoy the rest of my life. But how long that can be, who knows? Nobody knows. You guys got any plans for the future? I mean, anything you're looking forward to? Well. I don't know if I just, I got a daughter out in Arizona. I got one in 
Minnesota, and I got one in Bloomington. And the one in Bloomington comes down and goes, more. I see her. I haven't seen the other ones out in Arizona in probably eight years, and they're coming this summer, so. Um, and the ones in Minnesota going to be a great grandfather here. In, well, congratulations. Uh, April, wow. April. That's great. And uh, my, daughter, my granddaughter up in Minnesota. And, uh, so, and her husband races too. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, it's continuing the blood. Maybe yeah. a great grandchild. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a boy, so. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> the rally name doesn't continue, but well, the, the bloodline does. It won't be my name. But, <laughs> All right. Uh, Right? Well, if they had yeah. Moffat, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little bit different yeah. name, though. Yeah. <laughs> Petty and Moffat, right? Yeah. It's it's cool. It's cool. My my grandson up there, he's in Rochester. He's, I can't remember the name of the TV station, but he's a, a, a TV reporter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like Luke Seipold's son is, a, or, uh, Lou Jr. is a, oh, yeah. a, a pers radio personality as well, and been on the... TV guest spots and all that too. So well, he does it every day. He goes, they send him out. And he does his own thing, find the news, and, and huh. does all that. But uh, he, he's he, he's good at it. I mean, I I I keep. Telling it's not him. for everybody. <laughs> no, no, but he clicks right in. They got him right there. Wow. Because uh, I joke him. I I called him Walter one day. <laughs> Mr. Crump. <Crunk. laughs> yeah. He goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid, you're young. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. really young. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, he'll do okay. Well, sir, speaking of okay, uh, I think it's been better than okay that you come on the show. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you're one of the, uh, the the greats in auto racing. You you know, you've covered the gamut of, uh, you know, the decades and uh Contribute a lot to auto racing history. I appreciate you having me in your home. I appreciate you opening up your photo albums. We're going to go through and take a look at a few of these and superimpose them on the screen. And uh, just, just thanks for having me. I really appreciate you being on the show. Well, I appreciate you coming down. Thanks.